Oh yeah, we're getting fresh snow, like a ton of it right now. We made our way over to Breck because the Imperial chair opened yesterday. For the, it's like the earliest opening since 2005 when they made the chairlift. So hopefully the snow's like super good up there. So we're gonna run up to Imperial, check it out. Hopefully get some powder. Breck's got like three inches right now. So uh, no matter what, we're gonna have a sick day. So I'm stoked. Dude. So I feel like Breck is notorious for when they get more snow, they report less. And when they get less snow, they report more. So it's kind of one of those things where like they get a lot of snow, they don't want you coming. If they don't get a lot of snow, they want you here. I mean, cause there was a, a solid like five inches, maybe, maybe even six where we were riding. So that's, that's not three inches, that's for sure. We were waiting for the six chair to open up and then Imperial, once those open up, I bet we're gonna get some sick powder shots. Alright guys, while we wait in this line, it's probably the best time to mention today's sponsor, Ski Village Resorts. It's a booking website where you can book like a studio apartment or you get a whole like five bedroom condo for you and your family. The best part about Ski Village is it's not just a booking website. These guys live in Breckenridge. They love Breckenridge. They know where to eat, what to do, and they're going to make sure that your family vacation is the best ever. So make sure to hit the link in the description and book your next trip to Breckenridge. Alright, they just opened the top. Let's go! Guys, this is Dave. Ah! <laughs> it's a little windy up here. Got to get that Imperial scan, you know what I'm saying? I haven't been up Imperial chair in years. Tallest chairlift in North America. Let's do it. Woo! Visibility is super poor, but the snow is great.
So the snow off six chair is incredible. Imperial had good snow, but you couldn't see anything. It's so hard to ride. So we're not going back up in Imperial. We're gonna keep getting some sick lines off six chair. Daniel, people want to know how was it? That was best, steep. Best day of the year so far. Heck yeah. So like today's cold, like really cold. But when it's such a sick powder day, you don't even notice how like cold you are. It's so nice. Hi Daniel, how was your day, boy? Like I said earlier, best day of the season so far. Some really good snow. How difficult is it to film in powder? Um, you know, the way that I approached it was I was just watching your lines and the way that you were going through the trees and being like, look, like, I just got to do what Jonathan's doing right now and stay as close as possible. Now, there were definitely parts where it didn't work out, but, you know, again, it's, it's all a part of the learning process. And the way that things are working out this season, there's a lot more snow than last year. So we're going to have a lot more opportunities for days like today. Um, like last year, we only had, like, one powder day you know what I mean so um, I, I really didn't think it was too difficult as all at all but I mean like if you compare it to filming in the park a hundred times more, more difficult, more difficult. <laughs> I, I would when 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 it comes to to, to, to filming I, I much prefer doing it in the park because I mean I can just match Jonathan's speed up to the feature and then kind of get on with my heel edge and scrape down while he's on the feature and straighten back out. Uh, definitely here, you know, I definitely have to focus more on the riding and making sure that while I have the camera on Jonathan, my board's not dipping down in into the snow and kind of flipping me over. Eating it. Big shout out to Daniel. Like seriously, filming in the powder, it's not easy. So we gotta do some stuff in town and I'm not gonna film all that for you. So we'll see you guys at the car. There's only one way to celebrate a day like today, and that's Taco Bell. And you know we're gonna stop and get some Taco Bell on the way home. I gotta say guys, you know me, I don't really chill out our products too much, but these Unigear goggles, these low lights, perfect, perfect. Especially for the price point, 30 bucks, I didn't have any issues, like no fogging, no no nothing. And I also rock the Outdoor Masters. Like these aren't like these aren't our brands. These are brands that reach out to us and ask us to like promote their gear or, or review it, and then we like it, we promote it. Like I wore the Outdoor Masters today, fire. So like I'll link both of them down below if you guys need a pair of goggles, especially low lights. Like the, the options will be down there. And honestly, guys, today's sponsor. Please hit that link in the description. Check them out. Like I really appreciate that someone put faith in me to run an ad in our video. So uh, please, please check them out. Enough to promoting other than our sticker shout out. We got 
Kurt Newton rocking the white evolution on his helmet, looking sick. Dude, thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you want any of our evolution stickers, guys, they're linked in the description. We still got green, a little bit of red, some pink. And then what color do you guys want to see next? I, I'm thinking about coming out with another color. So uh, comment down below what color you'd want to see and uh, we'll try to release it next. Also can't forget the warmest merch in the game. Kept us warm the whole time. That's linked in the description. And with that, guys, as always, thanks for watching. <sighs> Keep evolving and we'll see you next time. I think I forgot to say like, share, subscribe. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen, feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion, yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody, I ain't never gonna need nobody, no, no, I ain't never gonna need nobody, no cliffhanger, yes I- Oh yeah, I thought Dude. I heard it. Dude! <laughs>